Hello you nutters, my name's Nutty Ape and welcome to a very special episode for Reddit. So I have posted my working PSVR setup on the subreddit that you probably came here from. And a couple of you have asked me how I got my one working because I'm using an AMD card and there's some funky magic that you need to do. So the first thing you need to do is connect it. So you're going to have this port that would normally go to your TV. You don't need to put anything in here. This HDMI port, the one that says PlayStation 4, this is what you put into the back of your second slot on your graphics card. If you have one, I'm not sure if it's going to work if you pull it onto the onboard. It, sh it should do. But if you have a graphics card with two slots, I'll definitely stick it into there. That's where I stuck my one into. That's what she said. And it, and it works fine. And the USB, you're going to need to stick it into one of your USB outputs on your computer. Now, I pull it in the front. However, you can pull it in the back. It'll work just fine. Now that's connected, you need to go into Steam. And you're going to go to Library. And you're going to go to VR. Now, honestly, I don't remember installing VR. So it could be under Tools. Uh, if you try to search for VR on the store, it doesn't show up. So I'm fairly certain that it should be there. So you want to install Steam VR. So once that is installed, you want to download something called Trinus. Now I'm going to put a link down below. I'm not going to tell you how to install an application. So install that and start that up. So once Trinus is installed, you will come onto this screen here. Now this is uh, very similar to how I showed you how to set it up. You got the PlayStation 4 HDMI coming out and going into your HDMI on your computer. I'm using a desktop. This shows a laptop. I use it on a desktop. Uh, the USB also has to go into one of the USB ports on your machine that you're using. And apart from that, that's pretty much just how you, you know, you set it up. Uh, you want to go on to install and before you start anything, you want to install the VR drivers. It'll then come up with something here saying uh, VR drive is installed to your Steam directory, wherever your Steam directory is. You then want to go to your main. You want to lay your PSVR on a flat surface. I use no low, no low mode, but I can't seem to get head tracking when it's turned off. I don't know if that's just an error on my version of Trinus, but I've got it working like this, so I have it clicked on. So once you have that VR driver installed, you want to go ahead and press the button to turn your PSVR on and you should hear the beep. And the backlights for your PSVR should uh, light up. The front, however, do not. I don't know why. Your computer essentially is going to recognize two screens. So if I come here to my display settings, this is my main PC monitor. It's set up in uh, full HD and the second has to mirror your first monitor. So if you click on identify, this is my first monitor and on the PSVR inside, it will have the little two as if it's just a second screen. Before I click start, however, for the first time, you're going to need to change your color layout to RGB 444. Now with the latest drive updates, I, I remember searching on YouTube on how to do this and they have shown me how, but it's very out of date. So it's actually slightly different now. So I show you how I did it. You go to AMD Radeon settings and it brings you to this screen here. You want to go down to preferences down here on the left. You want to go to Radeon additional settings. And then it brings up the old school style of um, Radeon settings. You want to go to uh, this drop down menu here. Mine says Elgato because obviously I'm recording with Elgato, but that will be your normal monitor. If you're using Asus, it'll probably say Asus. If you're using Hitachi, it'll say Hitachi. Whatever you're using, it'll probably say that. Might just say generic monitor. You want to select the second one, which will be your PSVR. And then you want to select the pixel format. It should be defaulted on the YCBCR. You want to select RGB 444 pixel format, PC standard, full RGB and click apply. Obviously I can't do that because it's already on there for me because I've set it up. So once that is all ready, all you need to do is get your PSVR headset, lay it on the table and press start. So once that has finished calibrating, you'll see if you turn it to your left, it changes to around 80 and you turn it to the right, it changes to 90 and that is successfully tracking. So the last thing you need to do is run Steam VR for the first time. I honestly can't remember if this ran automatically for me. So if it runs automatically for you, cool. If it doesn't, you want to right click on this if it hasn't run the room setup already and run the room setup. 
and you'll get to this screen here. This guy can go away. You want to do standing only because you won't have room scale. At least I can't get that working yet. You want to calibrate center. Le don't move your, I, I showed you it moving around, but leave it on the desk. Calibrate center. I set it to my height because it only has directional. It doesn't have height or uh, position. So I am 183 centimeters. I would probably say however tall you are, if you want the games to feel more natural, I would set it to that height. At least that's how I done it anyhow. So when that when that is done, you're ready to play games. That should be exactly the same of how I done it. So if you have an AMD card and you haven't been able to get to work, hopefully this should work for you guys. If I was any help for you guys at all, please give me a good thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it two thumbs up. And if you subscribe today, you'll get a free copy of Prometheus on DVD or Blu-ray, your choice, free, no, no scam. Free. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Mr. Coconut Man, I have your coconuts. Here is one dollar. One dollar? Go to Diego's Pizza, more cash. One easy. have one dollar. I'm gonna do one dollar. I'm gonna starve and die before this happens.